everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to set up your new Google Pixel 3. This also applies to any Android phone because the setup process is fairly similar. So in the last video I unboxed the phone and I also unboxed the case. And so now I'm going to turn it on for the first time. So click on the power button. I'm going to press and hold it. And I'm greeted with the screen that says Google. I don't know if you can see that very well. And it's just changed into the G, and it says powered by Android. And I have some shapes of all different colors on my screen. And it says, hi there, uh, English United States, and it has vision settings. So I'll be using English United States. Of course, you should select whatever language that you would like. And I'm going to click start. And it's going to ask me to connect to a mobile network. So if I have a SIM card, I should insert it now. And if you recall when you, uh, when I opened the phone or when you opened your phone, you should have got some sort of key in order to access the SIM card uh, tray. So here's my key. And so the directions are to um, put it in and then the SIM card tray will open. So I'm going to take out the key. Most phones uh, these days have the key that you need to use, but some phones uh, will just be so that you can open the back but for this phone, you have to use the key, so I'm going to put it underneath. And it may be a bit difficult to see, but there's a little slot there, so I'm going to put my key in. And I'm going to do this off camera just to make sure that I do it correctly. And I'll be back once I do it. So I had to go ahead and uh, get a different SIM because my old SIM was a different size. But now I have the new SIM and I put it in, and now it's asking me to connect to Wi-Fi. So... I'm going to select my Wi-Fi network and then put in my password. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now it's connecting. And it says it's checking for updates. And here I have my old phone, so I'm going to transfer my old data to this new phone. So it's finished checking for updates and now it's asking to, uh, the Google services. So I'm going to um, accept all of these things. Go all the way down and I'm going to click accept. Additional legal terms, I'm going to click accept. And now it's going to ask me to put in my fingerprint to unlock my phone. So I am going to use my finger. So click next. And uh, first I need to make a pin, so I'm going to make a pin. So I've put in my pin and click next, re-enter the pin, and now I have to touch the sensor on the back here, so I'm just lifting and touching the sensor. So it says fingerprint added, and it says when you see this icon, you can use your fingerprint, so click next. Now it says just a sec. And here we go, I am into the phone. So you can see I have this new, um, they call it the pill on the bottom. And if I swipe up uh, a little bit, I have this um, uh, to see recent tabs. And if I swipe up more, I have my app drawer. All these apps here. Of course, there's not much now because I haven't installed anything yet. So I have my screen. On the left, I have Google. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Now I need to accept the terms of service. And now I've logged in and I have my wallpaper here. And, and so yeah, now I have set up my phone. So now I'm going to transfer the data from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the manual and the manual will show us how to do so. So here's my let's get started book. So I'm going to find the right page. So I'm going to go to English. I've already put in the uh, SIM card. And now to uh, copy apps and data, I am going to uh, take the pixel and I have this adapter here, which comes in the box, this adapter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in uh, the old charger, plug the USB part into this here, and then take the other part of the old charger and plug it in my old phone. 
and then take the this part and plug it into my pixel. So I'm gonna click here, finish setup, click on start. Just gonna check for updates again. Now it's gonna ask to copy the data. So I can keep setting it up doing the transfer, so I'm gonna click next. And I've already um, turned it on and I have to keep it unlocked. So I'm gonna go ahead and do so. So instead of transferring the files by plugging in, I'm actually going to do it via the cloud because I don't want all the, I have some stuff here I don't want to put onto my new phone. So I'm just going to get the apps and stuff onto new, the new phone. So I'm going to click on uh, backup from the cloud. And I'm going to sign in. So I'll be back once I sign in. So again, I have to accept the terms of agreement. So it's asking me to choose a backup to restore. So I'm going to do the Moto G4 because that's my because that's my old phone. So now I can choose what to restore. So I'm going to restore all the apps, contacts, call history, device settings, and um, all the things that are synced automatically. So I'm going to click restore, and it's going to restore. So I have to agree to these terms. Now I can access my assistant with the voice match, so I'm going to click I agree. So it says my assistant can already uh, recognize voice match, so I'm all set. And I can squeeze for my assistant, so I squeeze. And I'm just going to keep squeezing it. So it's kind of interesting feature how it, they allow you to just squeeze it and it gets to Google Assistant. Go next. So I'm going to go to next. And then it's going to ask me to do always on display. So time, notification, icons and other info will appear on the lock screen. So I'm going to say turn on. And it's going to ask me for anything else. So I can either add another fingerprint, uh, email account, discover songs with now playing, control info and lock screen. This one, it seems interesting, so I'm going to discover the songs that now playing. Turn on. And then I have change font size. I like the font how it is, so I'm going to keep it how it is. I can control the info on my lock screen. I'm just going to show all the notifications. And I can add another fingerprint. So I'm going to add my other finger. I'm going to enter in my pin. Now I have to touch the sensor. I'm going to use this hand now. So fingerprint added. So you can turn this off and put it away now. I'm going to add another um, email account. So I'm going to add a few more. Okay, so I've done everything I needed. So now I'm going to click done for now. And it says one last tip. It's going to ask me to send emails to me about the pixel. I'm going to click all set. And it's adding. Okay, so I'm all done setting up my Pixel 3. I hope um, you were able to set up your Pixel 3 or your Android phone successfully. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.